Indian Navy seeks development of new glide fire missile. Indian Navy has unveiled requirements for a new ship launched surface to surface missile, SSM. The missile, referred to as Glide Fire SSM, is to be developed under the Make 2 category of India's Defence Acquisition Procedure, DAP, 2020. This category involves industry funded project development with no government funding reports over defence. The project first came to light when acceptance in principle, AIP, was accorded on September 16, 2021. Even as the project underwent a feasibility study, a fresh eye was accorded on April 6, 2022. Following this, a project brief was released in May, providing tentative requirements of the Glide Fire SSM. It called for the development of a lightweight, modular and cost-effective missile with anti-ship and land attack capability. The missile would be launched from a modular scalable launcher as well as universal vertical launcher modules currently fitted on Indian warships. DRDO is also developing a universal vertical launcher capable of launching all indigenous missiles on board Indian Navy ships. Glide Fire SSM would use hybrid propulsion and utilize unique controllable surfaces to undertake precise engagement of enemy targets. Associated systems include fire control systems, FCS, launchers and other interface equipment. The Indian Navy requires the development of two prototypes and about 115 missiles. This indicative document did not provide any performance characteristics of the missile. The specifications for a new ship launched surface to surface missile have been revealed by the Indian Navy SSM. The Glide Fire SSM missile will be created in accordance with India's Defence Acquisition Procedure DAP 2020's Make 2 category. This group includes privately funded project development that is not supported by the government. When acceptance in principle, AIP, was granted on September 16, 2021, the project first came to light. On April 6, 2022, a new I was granted as the project conducted a feasibility study. After that, a project brief that included the Glidefire SSM's preliminary requirements was published in May. A lightweight, modular, and cost-effective missile with anti-ship and land strike capabilities was requested for to be developed. The missile would be fired from both a universal vertical launcher module now installed on Indian warships and a modular, expandable launcher. Additionally, DRDO is creating a universal vertical launcher that can be used to launch all homegrown missiles from Indian Navy ships. Hybrid propulsion and unique controlled surfaces would be used by Glide Fire SSM to engage enemy targets precisely. Fire control systems, FCS, launchers, and other interface hardware are examples of associated systems. A total of 115 missiles and two prototypes are needed for the Indian Navy. There were no details about the missile's performance provided in this indicative document. However, a questionnaire document released in July provided additional details on Glide Fire SSM. Glide Fire's hybrid propulsion is intended to achieve a terminal speed of at least 2000 kts Mach 3. It would be capable of engaging enemy targets at extended ranges of up to 180 km. 20 missiles are to be produced annually. Glide Fire is likely being contemplated as a ship-launched medium-range anti-ship missile, a category of missile banned from being imported with effect from December 2027. This would also be a replacement for the KH-35 Furan missiles currently used by the Navy. Meanwhile an upgrade of the FCS for the Uran SSM, first inducted in 1997, is also proceeding under the government-funded Make-I category of DAP 2020. Glide Fire SSM may be comparable to the Rafi LC Breaker which, while having higher range, 
also has a secretive terminal phase. Multiple ongoing Indian anti-ship missiles projects such as aircraft launched naval anti-ship missile, short range and medium range as well as a submarine launched cruise missile, SLCM, would also be developed by 2027. Other Indian naval SSM projects include a hypersonic long-range anti-ship missile, LR Asham, subsonic long-range land attack cruise missile, LAM, and longer-range improvements of BrahMos. However, further information on Glide Fire SSM was given in a questionnaire paper that was published in July. The hybrid propulsion of Glide Fire is designed to reach a terminal speed of at least 2000 kts. Mach 3. At extended ranges of up to 180 km, it could engage hostile targets. Each year, 20 missiles are to be produced. Glidefire is probably being considered as a ship-launched, medium-range anti-ship missile, a type of missile whose importation will be prohibited beginning in December 2027. Additionally, this would be a replacement for the Navy's present KH-35 run missiles. In the meantime, work is being done to enhance the FCS for the Uran SSM, which was introduced for the first time in 1997. The Rafi LC breaker, which has a larger range on the covered terminal phase, may be comparable to the Glide Fire SSM in terms of performance. By 2027, Many active Indian anti-ship missile projects, including a submarine-launched cruise missile, SLCM, and naval anti-ship missile, short and medium range, would also be produced. Long-range land attack cruise missile, LAM, a subsonic hypersonic anti-ship missile, and BrahMos enhancements with longer ranges are some of the other Indian naval SSM programs.